you're about to hear is the fusion of entertainment and enlightenment. This is the Glenn Beck Program. We once again find ourselves at the other side of a hard-fought election. You know, throughout history, America has divided and argued and fought passionately over the issues. But time and time again, America, in the end, has come back together. Because it recognizes the patriotism and the simple American qualities in each of those on the other side of the issue. Now, I know a lot of people don't want to hear this today. Because they just want a day to gloat and rub it in the opposing party's face. Believe me, I understand. I do too. But I think some things need to be said. No matter if you agree or disagree with John Kerry and John Edwards, we shouldn't question their patriotism, their love of country. They may have lost, but it was not for a lack of trying. They presented America with a real choice, a vision that many people embraced. A vision, however, that as it happens, simply more people disagreed than agreed. But what's truly great about our system, what's truly great about America, is that it's big enough for all voices, even those that at times we find offensive. Michael Moore comes to mind. For all the grief he gave us over the last few years, the lies, the distortion, believe it or not, in America, it's his right to stand up for what he believes in. So today, I hope America can come together to celebrate the real American victory that happened last night. I hope we can all stand together, at least for one day, shoulder to shoulder, and look both the Michael Moores and the John Kerrys of the world in the eye and say, you may not have won the argument, but you fought proudly. But no matter the past, no matter our differences, I want you both to know that to me, you will both always be simply losing. Opportunity to say to Michael Moore, to to John Kerry, to Tom Daschle, to Robert Redford, who said yesterday he's moving to Ireland if Bush wins. <laughs> oh, I love it. God bless America. Land that I love, stand beside her and guide her. Cause 
because you're moving to freaking Ireland. <laughs> hey, Susan Sarandon. <laughs> Martin Sheen. <laughs> Cheryl Crow. <laughs> Tim Robbins. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> oh. But then again, you don't want to be mean-spirited. You don't want to look somebody like Terry McAuliffe in the eye and say, <laughs> No, I take that back. Yes, you do. Hey, Terry McAuliffe! <laughs> yeah! By the way, I uh, just want to point out, um, George Bush, in the popular vote, won a majority, something that Bill Clinton never did. <laughs> I just want to throw in, it was also the highest number of votes ever. For any president of all time? <laughs> uh, 3.5 million. 3.5 million. It's the biggest difference in modern history. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, they also, the Republicans expanded the House and the Senate. <laughs> All right, here's the uh, situation in Ohio. <laughs>